Oh, we may be one step closer to stopping the spread of COVID-19. Three major pharmaceutical companies have just announced that they are now moving into phase three or the final phase of testing a vaccine. Medical reporter Liz Bonas shares what this means for all of us. The first thing it means is that if you are in some of the harder hit cities where workplaces have said they won't bring everyone back until there's a vaccine, here is your projected timeline. We, we are saying that we hope to have at least one vaccine to the market by the spring of 2021. Dr. Michelle McMurray-Heath is president and CEO of Biotechnology Innovation Organization, or BIO. She admits that from a scientific standard, that's record timing, which raises the question. Can we do that quickly, however, without compromising safety? Mm. It's an excellent question. Um, I used to be an FDA official, uh, so I know very well the ins and outs in FDA, and I can tell you FDA scientists are rigorous and they will pull no punches. There will be no shortcuts when it comes to guaranteeing that these um, new products will be safe and effective. So the second thing that means is that while well, Moderna, AstraZeneca, and Johnson & Johnson are likely to be front runners with these phase three trials, which use human volunteers, we still don't know how long protection from a vaccine would last. Well, that will, will evolve over time. Our knowledge of the virus is changing day by day, week by week. And our knowledge of how the vaccine protects will also evolve. And it may vary depending on the different vaccine candidates. Those candidates vary from using genetic material that produce an immune response to... Where you kill and destroy a virus and use that as the stimulus for your immune response. It also means the race to be first is real and makes one wonder. There is some thought that, of course, we want this vaccine to help save lives and build immunity. But isn't there also sort of a financial incentive? Is the person who develops this vaccine or the company, they going to make a lot of money? That's incredibly doubtful at this particular point in time. And, you know, I wish that the American public can see the side of scientists that I have seen in my 20 plus years um, working in biomedical research. Many of them are driven to try to improve human health and to help patients. Patients that hopefully soon will have a whole new shot at prevention. I'm medical reporter Liz Bonus reporting.